What's happening people, Godspeed here, back for a tutorial video. In this video I'll be showing you how to build a love shack. Perfect for all the lovers out there. Love Evolved is active right now, this will be great for events on your server. I have this built on Fjordshore, but rest assured this is built with clip, uh, with no clip and official settings. I simply built on this map because I like it, no other reason. This is designed as a love shack cabin outpost. Easy to build, simple. To do this, select yourself a body of water, preferably as flat as possible uh, under the surface. And then under the surface, I have a foundation already placed down. And using that foundation, I'm gonna snap a five by four pillar setup. So we're going to do five pillars going this way and then four pillars going this way. Now obviously the uh, pillar heights will differ depending on the body of water that you're using. Maybe you only need one pillar, maybe you need two or three or maybe you even want to build this on land. So go ahead and fill in this five by four pillar setup. And on top of these stone pillars, I'm going to add a wooden pillar to each one. Also guys, I've got a couple of Viking videos coming in the next uh, week or so, so be sure to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on those. After that, lay uh, wooden ceilings across each of the wooden pillars. Make sure that the grain on the wood is facing the right way. Next, take your wooden fence foundation and snap one down just here. On the left of this, snap a stone pillar. Then another stone pillar on the right. Followed by two more stone pillars. We're also going to place one here and we're going to snap a wooden fence foundation to the back and place four more stone pillars. Top of this second pillar, place one wooden pillar, then two wooden pillars followed by one wooden pillar. This middle one is going to have two wooden pillars on top of it, as is this back one and this one will have one. Once you've done that, take your appropriately faced sloped stone wall and place one just there. And also place the appropriate sloped one on the back. In this corner, we're gonna place another one facing left. And a single stone door frame here. Make sure you're snapping it to the wood and not to the fence foundation. Then go ahead and snap two greenhouse walls and another sloped right stone wall followed by a sloped right greenhouse wall. Come to the rear of the build. Take your stone window frame and place down two at the back here. On top of this window frame, place a stone wall. And two left sloping stone walls. Here we're going to place a singular stone wall followed by a right sloped stone wall. And again a singular stone wall and a left sloped stone wall. 
followed by a right sloped one on the back. As I said guys, I have two more Viking videos coming up. I also just done a live uh, Viking stream, so be sure to check that out. And as always, smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Just here we're going to want to place some greenhouse walls. Three high. Followed by a singular stone door frame and two more greenhouse walls. We're going to place another singular stone door frame here. Followed by two stone walls. Go ahead and select your single greenhouse door and place them on each door frame. And some greenhouse windows at the rear. Take your wooden ceiling and place two down here. Now you see how that's not facing the same pattern. It looks ugly, right? Pick that up and place it down the right way. It's always good to see the wood grain following the same the same direction, you know. And here we're going to snap a wooden ceiling, followed by a wooden staircase. On this front window, we're going to use a metal rail. And we're going to get the blue snap point, flip it, and then place it down. Go ahead and take your metal rails and place two down here on the right. Followed by three on the front and one on the left. free on this balcony. Next take your sloped thatch roof and place two down here on this back part. And go ahead and fill this in with sloped wooden roofs. So using this pillar here, we're going to try and get that nipple, that nipple poking through. So keep spamming this fat, this fat pillar down until you get that little nipple poking through. Just like this. Once you have that nipple shown through, we're going to go ahead and take the crop lot. It takes a bit of uh, moving around to get this green because this is done on official settings, as is all my YouTube videos. I reserve my Twitch for unofficial settings, but all my YouTube tutorials are official settings. So go ahead and place that down, and on top of that, place a wooden hatch frame. I'm going to add a citronol plant to that later. Take your metal rail. We're going to rail this off. Go ahead and take two more wooden ceilings and place it here to create this little dock and add a metal rail to the left and the right. Let's go ahead and create the swimming pool. So using this second pillar, we're gonna to wanna to space this out. So take your triangular foundations, Go ahead and remove these three triangular foundations. 
See, we only put those down to get the right spacing. This is the foundation that we wanted. And now we're going to go ahead and build our love heart. So taking the triangle foundations, following the pattern that I'm creating, we're looking for this diamond shape. And once we have this diamond shape, we can go ahead and remove that middle triangular foundation, which will give us our love heart pattern. We're now gonna go ahead and wall this up. Again, this will all depend on how deep your body of water is. Mine's fairly deep, so I'm gonna go free high with this. We'll go ahead and wall this all the way around. How are you guys enjoying Love Evolved? I'm uh, pretty disappointing with the events I think this year so far. Um, I'm glad to see the box of chocolates back though, that was pretty cool. Um, but apart from that, I feel like some of the wildcard events could be a little better, you know. So now we have that love heart shape. We're gonna take our triangular stone uh, ceilings and we're gonna make some little seating area at these back, uh, at these back curved area parts. Let's go ahead and place four triangular ceilings down in this pattern. And again, with four over here. And go ahead and take your wooden staircase or stone and place them down crisscross like this on both sides. So now we have our deep pool and we have our seating area. Also go ahead and throw a triangular stone ceiling just there with a metal catwalk, which is supposed to be obviously a diving board. I'm going to go ahead and add a tap just for effect. With this being official settings, it's kind of weird with the snap points. I wanted it to be flush against this wall, but I don't think that will happen. Just It's always a good uh, thing to note, guys. The tap will always place the uh, opposite, the way you're facing. So if you're facing straight forward like this, when you place the tap down, it will face the way you were facing when you place the pipe down. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of, uh, just a couple of benches here. Almost like a sauna sort of style area, you know? I'm also going to go and add a ladder to this dock. And now depending on where you want your access, you can go ahead and break one of these rails and put a catwalk down. So I'm going to have mine just here. I'm going to go ahead and break the rail. Now let's get some uh, paint on this. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pink paint and set all regions and paint this uh, pool. Including the floor of the pool. So with the triangle ceilings, the floor and the stairs on all regions. Usually I skip the paint job, but I thought I'd take you through it this time. And I'll spray that too. Now I'll deselect some of these regions and we're keeping regions five and six enabled. And we're gonna go ahead and spray the pillars. I'm 
also going to go ahead and spray the roofs with regions 5 and 6 enabled. Next we can go ahead and select our black paint. And regions 1, 2, 3 and 4 enabled, we're going to go ahead and spray the pillars. I'll leave the uh, color regions in the description below. Yeah, usually I'll skip this and fast forward this, but you know, some people like to see how I paint my stuff, so there you go. Keeping the same regions enabled, one, two, three, and four, we're gonna spray these sloped roofs, black. And now we're gonna select all regions black and paint all the greenhouse glass and all the rails. And that is all I'm going to paint on this build. I don't like to overdo my paint too much because I think it can take away from the aesthetics of the build, you know. That crop plot there, I'll be planting some citronol shortly as I think that's the best looking plant on the game. Seems to look really cool with builds, you know. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, until next time, that's me out.